Mr. Deeves here. Today we are back in Minecraft and uh, that game probably gave it away. And the, the aquatic update is finally finished. Everything is here, including the conduits. Now, all I know is now the conduits are just underwater beacons that do incredible stuff. So, they can be made from um, sea lanterns or just plain old prismarine. The exact minimum of blocks you have to have around it doesn't have to be an exact shape. It's 16. Actually, I think it might actually. Have... Well, they can't be closer than this box. Well, actually. I put this. Put that there. Yeah, max a uh, minimum of sixteen blocks, any placement whatsoever. So you can have any design you want, as long as it takes sixteen prismarine blocks. And all I know about adding more prismarine blocks or sea lanterns um, is that it can increase the range. So, before we move on to the bubble columns, oh, that's a real treat. We will go ahead and move on to the mobs. Um, dolphin. Whoops. Well, the dolphin makes it swim faster. Plus, uh, the sea turtles. I don't know what... Oh, they, they, inc they give you water breathing. Forgot about that. Whoops. Wrong one again. Now, mobs sink to the bottom of the ocean. As you can see here. And that does mean that zombies do fall under the water and eventually become drowned. Um, let me give you an example. So I spawn a zombie, it can't swim. So eventually it should uh, start drowning and die and turn into a drowned. Simple as that. Or that's how it should go. Okay, it's not drowning. I don't think it does. Okay, so the drown so that drown came here naturally. Um, I thought it was going to be just like the snapshot on PC, but apparently but this is pocket edition, of course it's not gonna be the same. So, now, the bubble columns. The bubble columns, you can go, go up. Fast. Or, you can simply sink. No. Okay. Right there. That's. Oh, they're spawning on top of me. Okay, looks like we're going out of the water. All right. Now, ignore these effect bubbles. Well, I show you these bubbles. So this column doesn't really do anything to both, I believe. This one can break them. Right? No, actually, they just sink them. So, um, I think we're gonna have a little bit of fun with that. So, that does mean we can make a whole field of these, 
and if you have an ocean base on a multiplayer server I believe all you can all you have to do is surround it with magma, magma blocks Sorry, working on the fish. Or better yet, you can surround the entrance to your base with magma, with magma blocks. So this is actually pretty, pretty cool. I know that you can also make elevators, but hey, hey that, that's actually that actually looks pretty cool. Let's try to, swim, to go through it. The one block. Um. It's gonna take a while. I think we might have better chances with um, the three block to make it sink. Oh, one of the fish died. Well, regardless, if you if you're a skilled enough player, um, I'm pretty sure you can make a wall, probably thicker than this, um, to protect your base out in the middle of the ocean. So obviously, it's gonna be it's gonna be need it's gonna need to be wider than this, or you simply can just. Oh, I think I got it. All right. So player comes up, press the card. Get on, but they can't go back. And when they go down to retrieve it, they're stuck. <laughs> Easy. Must mess around with the with an elevator. So, uh, pretty sure it's as simple as can be. Really trying it. Oh yeah, turtles drop sh turtle shells now, and uh, you can uh, what was it? Oh, I believe you can chant them for water breathing. So let's see how how high this can go. All you need for the elevator part, for the one that lifts you up, is the soul sand. Let's get some right now. It's so convenient that they're in, that these two are in the same place on creative mode. Okay, so now we put one in the bottom. Ah, uh, I get it now. It takes a bunch of source blocks. And I'm back in range with these guys. Um, I I'm better- I'm gonna actually, uh... Get some more Prismarine. Increase range again. I don't know how each block increases the range by, but I'm pretty sure if you get enough, it increases the range dramatically.
Well, then again, this is survival mo This is pocket edition. Not always gonna work, right? <sighs> so much for help from the conduit. Wait, does that mean that it stops? No, still active. Oh, I believe the conduit's supposed to do something else. Huh. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. It was supposed to hurt moms, but maybe that's a little out of my control. But anyways. We zoomed up to the top with ease. And... Whoops. Well, but it's been a safe landing. But now, if you have an amusement park ride, boom, nobody has to wait to get it to the top. Item elevators, I forgot. This should increase the speed that the items go up. So that does mean now if I Yep. That also means that... Huh. No. Go back down. You too. That if I drop this in there... <coughs> drop straight to the ground. Whew. Let's mess around with mobs. Oh, I get it now. It works only. It'll. The conduit's powers only work underwater. Well, if any player was to get stuck in this without probably a boat to get to to get through it fast enough, even. Even then, if they can't get through with the boat, they're gonna sink down, hit, the, sink down straight to the bottom, hit the magma cube blocks, and just die. So enough of that, let's try this out in survival mode. So the conduit's powers should also work in survival. Oh, oh I probably should have gotten a weapon. Well, as you can see, I have no need. Whoa, whoa, why did I spawn these mobs? Oh, wait, no, I got it. Jeez. There. Gone. So now, swim about in peace. You can see in the water. If you don't need to breathe. Whew. Whew. And now, um, we. Are stuck in a death trap. Because now, if we try swimming there, we'll be stuck. So 
So if this was long enough, nobody would dare enter <laughs> and get their stuff back. And if you were safe, got all about safety and you don't want to drown, just add a bunch of soul sand around your island. That ought to work. Plus, if you drop something in there that you don't want to get out, that's too afraid to get out, simple. Soul sand. Now, if there's anything else you want to know about this update, Just simply go to how to play and look for this. And look for crafting. Well, not crafting up. Uh, and look for play. So then you hit conduits and. <sighs> so, an active conduit gives you powers when you are underwater. A conduit is crafted with Nautilus gels. And heart of the sea. Oh, I forgot about that. You find heart of the sea in treasure chests. Yeah, treasure chests. And you can get the conduit. Well, and you can get Nautilus shells. My bad. From. Uh, drowned, actually. So, pow draws power from prismarine sea lanterns. Once activated, a conduit can grant conduit power to anything nearby. Which means. You can breathe underwater, you can see underwater, you can mine faster underwater. Yeah. The more power it draws, the further its abilities will reach. It's not specific about it, but all I know is that the minimum luck you can have for the conduit is 16. So, do a good job with that. Now, if there's anything else in here... No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's about it. Anyways, why are you with? Why are you all here listening to me? You can go update your game now and check out this new feature. Also, I cannot eat because I'm not hungry. I was gonna eat the raw flesh. So, anyways, if you all enjoyed, please do leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get more videos like this. Hopefully, if Minecraft update gives another major update, and then we can see you all next time. Goodbye. Ah! No. Ah. Ah! Help me, conduits. Okay, wake up in the morning to the clear blue sky. Turn up the music when I hop in the ride. The windows down, let the whole world see. Can't nobody rock it like little old me. I'm the bomb and about to blow up. I'm the bomb and about to blow up. I got my trucks and my dickies and I put it on black. Banging Sinatra in a flat Cadillac.